Hello, and welcome to Chapter 1 of Lux Fiat Forever, the story of Green Mountain College. In this three-part mini-series, you're going to get to experience three sections of our whole documentary, also called Lux Fiat Forever. Be sure to check that out if you want the whole story here. In this episode, Chapter 1, we're going to explore some of the goodbyes that current and former students at Green Mountain College have to say. They're going to share some memories, thoughts, and feelings on the closing of the college after 185 years. In the Northeast, Green Mountain College is one of the oldest colleges, so I'm sure you can understand why this is so important. So buckle up, sit down, not in that order, and enjoy. So I'd like to tell you a story about um, one really fun night that I had on the sustainable living floor. That's where I live. So we were on Susti, and we were eating dinner, and um, my friend heard distant thunder at the window. And we were very excited because, you know, we had just gone through a long winter and um, it was the first thunderstorm of the year. So, you know, we all got really excited, heard the thunder, we were all sitting down for dinner and we decided to uh, rush out to the window and go out on the roof, which we're technically not supposed to do, but we do anyways. And uh, so we ran out on the roof to watch the thunderstorm to, uh, rolling in and we watched on the horizon and we were seeing all these beautiful ground to sky lightning thunderbolts and it was really beautiful and um, you know we were scared but also really excited and all of a sudden it started torrentially downpouring and the, the sheets of rain were kind of going back and forth and we were getting soaking wet but we decided to stay out there anyways and it was just a really exhilarating experience and um, so we were all kind of gathered in the kitchen and out on the roof and we gathered the troops and closed everybody's windows because everybody's rooms were getting soaked because uh, all the windows were open. And then we ran down the stairs and out into the night um, to go and play in the rain. Um, so when we did that, we saw that there were all giant puddles and you know water everywhere because it had just torrentially rained and it had since stopped, um, but basically there were a lot of other people around just kind of dancing in the rain like we were, and we ran down to the back fields. I had my friend on my back because she had just hurt her knee somehow, I can't remember how, and um, we ran down to the back fields and we were watching, still the lightning was in the sky, and um, we ran down and there were these huge, you know, swaths of water and um, we were hesitant, but one person decided to just sprint and dive headfirst into the water. And then all of us, before we knew it, were doing that. And it was just a wonderful experience and we were getting so wet and it was, it was very warm and just like the perfect way to, to enter spring after a really long winter. Um, and basically, you know, the, the storm started rolling in again and there was a really big black cloud above us. So we ran back up to our dorm, which is Ames, and um, went up and then we all showered and it was a really, really fun experience. So thank you for listening. Uh, Luke's Fiat. The one thing I'm gonna miss about being a part of the Green Mountain College community is definitely the athletics community. It's been a big part of um, just being on campus for the past two years, being a part of the women's soccer team and part of the whole soccer program, going to countless basketball games, taking pictures, recording videos, hanging out with friends, and getting to know the community too of the Pulteney town. I also am gonna miss all my friends who are graduating because they're all leaving to go off to new places too, and some people don't know where they're going yet, especially my friends who are still looking for schools to transfer to. So it's a big, it's a big deal, like closing a community that's been so close for the past two years that I've been here. And Lux Fiat Forever GMC. So uh, when I first came to GMC, I came because I thought that they had a really nice academic program. I was like, oh, I get to go out in the field, I get to do things outside. And uh, leaving GMC, I've come away with a very loving community. Um, and it's just, 
these the people here they actually they care um, they love you they want to see you succeed they want what's best for you um, and that's just something that I never expected to get out of my college experience was to have a community such as that um, and with GMC closing it's I know that there will be other communities and you can I've learned that you can create a community anywhere um, and I'm definitely going to take what I learned at Green Mountain and apply it um, to the communities that I go to after. Um, but it's definitely always going to be a piece of me and I'm definitely going to miss this community. Lux Fiat Forever. Well, we really hope that you enjoyed the first episode of Lux Fiat Forever. Thank you again for watching and don't forget to like if you enjoyed the video and subscribe so you can see the other chapters of the video when they come out and the whole documentary when it comes out. And again, this is just a smaller episode. The documentary will have things that weren't included here. So if you want the whole story, you better go check that out. So we'll see you when it comes out, and thank you for watching.